Mid-State RV Center, the camping experts since 1989. Mid-State RV. Hello folks, I'm Lee Pickard with Mid-State RV Center and welcome to another edition of the RV Show. As usual, we got some great tips coming to you. With the cold weather coming, we got some winterization tips. We got great RV products to show you. We got parts specials. We got everything that you want to see today. So folks, stick around with us, watch the show, and I'll be back and talk with you later. Georgia's largest RV show is back and bigger than ever. The Family RV Show in Byron, January 24th through 27th. Over 600 RVs on the ground ready for immediate delivery. Don't buy anything until you visit us. New travel trailers as low as $112 a month. New motorhomes as low as $387 a month. Special financing, free parking, free admission. Register for daily prize drawings at both locations. It's the Family RV Show, January 24th through 27th, east side of I-75, exit 149 in Byron. Welcome back to the Mid-State RV Show. I'm Brent. I'm Todd. It's welcome back 2019. 2019. Brand new year. 30 years we've been in business. And in honor of our 30th anniversary, Todd is going to give the first 30 customers $30 out of his pocket. Huh? What? I, I didn't know that. Listen, okay. me and Todd have picked out a couple of trailers we think are going to be uh, pretty solid in the year 2019. Good starter units. In a month and a half, it'll be spring break time. Cute so, spring break montage. Yes. Even though we're out here cold today, it's gonna be beautiful. Next month or two is gonna be really nice, warming up, and you need a camper. You have to get out there and have fun with your family. Good emphasis on springtime. Let's go. We're gonna give you a quick walk around. On the exterior here, you've got a power awning with LED light strip underneath. That way, if you guys are hanging out up in this chill zone right here, Woo! got a little bit of light. Todd, what's in that compartment right there? Here we have an outside handy dandy TV. Bingo. For bingo, your convenience. Bongo. It's the Furion Marine grade with the sound bar. That's right. You've got HDMI hookup out here too, so you can hook up like a, a DVD player, Blu-ray, X-ray, gamma ray, whatever you want. You've got a few of these just you know, these are just appliances. You got your furnace, you got your refrigerator thing. And then right here, what do we got there? What is it? You've got storage. Storage galore. Talk about this. This is a quick disconnect for a gas grill. That's right. That's right. So you could get your liquid propane from the tank underneath into a grill or whatever you want, you know, anything. And you also have outside outlets. So you can always get a table here. Put a table here. Electric skillet. Electric ice, skillet. Electric skillet. That's right. Ice machine, ice maker. We're not gonna talk about ice right now. Well, it's, it, well this could be summertime for you know it's gonna be really hot. So cold today, but warm well, it up. Let's here we go. To the back. You've got this uh, electro galvanized, um, rust resistant uh, four inch rear bumper okay that way you know look how tough this thing is brent this time look at what are you doing look a place for your sewer hose that's right right in there storage you could put a spear in there if that's what you wanted to do i'm not telling you what to do but you can if you want to you've got a ladder okay hold Good on for climbing up top inspecting the roof i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it here you go it's got a one-piece roof. That's right. TPO, one rubber piece. vinyl, one piece. Easy to maintain, easy to take care of. And the ladder is good for inspecting. Anytime you go, like when you when you take off, you go four hours, six hours. There's not a good chance, but there is a chance something could penetrate the roof. I mean, you could get a rip, a tear, or a limb in it, or something like that. So it's not a bad idea to check on the roof every once in a while. Okay. 
observation camera so you can see what you're running over. Um, it's not going to tell you when you hit something, but it's going to let you see what you hit. Because I think we talked about this on the last one. Rotocast tubs could potentially be the best thing that's ever happened to motorhomes. Is that too much? That's pretty strong, but what can they put in there? Anything you want. There we go. You've, you, you're, you're barreling this storage compartment down. So where you can see the line where the floor would be, they're making your storage compartments a lot deeper, which means more stuff. Lots of more stuff. Wanna put some ice in that thing? You can. Slide out with a slide topper. That's a, why is why is a slide topper so important, Todd? Say you're out there camping, having a great time, and all of a sudden the wind blows and the leaf, the leaves are all over the top of the unit. Pine cones. When you roll the slide out in, the slide topper spring loaded so it rolls right back up with it. All the stuff just falls onto the ground. Okay? Bam! On the ground. Not standard on this particular machine right here. High quality. Well, always big windows too. That's right. So you got more appliances. You got your gas electric hot water heater and then more storage. So they could put anything in there. Yeah. We're not telling you what to do, but we're if not, you wanted to put some We're not here to tell you what you to can. do. We're just here to help. You know what? Let's go inside and check this out. Cool. Let's do it. Ooh, a lot warmer in here. All right, listen, we have entered the inside. We've escaped from the elements. It is kind of cold outside, um, but now that we're inside and, and there's no wind, better. It's, it's surprisingly quiet in here too, isn't it? It is. Even, even the road noise and stuff like that. So I, I do want to talk for a minute about Freelander as a whole. Uh, structurally, these are excellently built. Um, one of the, the biggest things is a product called Asdale. It's exclusive to Coachman. Um, and basically it's where your, your standard build is to do fiberglass and Luon backer and then block foam or whatever you use for insulation. That Luon is the weakest link for sure every time. Um, you get things called D-Lamb, just caused by, you know, small amounts of moisture. Even humidity and stuff can make them delaminate. So with Asdale, you've got fiberglass, and then you've got this Asdale product, which is a, is a composite material, almost like a porous fiberglass. What it means to you, though, is this Freelander is always going to look as good as it does right now. Asdale is a water-resistant component. Um, and it, it's it's just so yeah a great product completely impervious to water like literally Absolutely. we have samples of Asdale in a fish tank um, and it's like I said I think that takes away it is scary if you know what it is you go spend big money on a motorhome sure or a travel trailer or anything anything's big money really right and then you get two years down the road and the thing's all wonky yeah looks rough. You know, and you feel bad. You feel like you really made a bad mistake where the Asdale takes all the worry out of it. You can really enjoy it for years to come and have a good time with your family. Preach, brother, preach. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, now we, we, we want to kind of give you guys a little uh, <clears throat> scope on, on what's going on inside this 21 RS. Again, I feel like uh, definitely a, a good setup for traveling. You know what I'm saying? Driving down the road, you've got your little U shaped bank yet, or what is that? That's not a U shape. It's a it's L shape. It's L shape bank cap. You are all into that seatbelt. Seatbelts. Seatbelts save lives, right? Also, the child seat tether. That's right. It's got anchorage for a car seat. That's um, right. Which is, I mean, I think that's an underlooked uh, feature. That would be a bad thing to get going down the road and buy one and then have a, have a baby. Well, now um, you got a problem. You know, a lot of them don't have them. I mean, not the baby's the problem, but the anchor for the car seat. The Ford chassis has a lot has a lot more kind of center console storage. Like literally, you got drink holder, drink holder, drink holder, cell phone, cell phone, cell phone, cell phone. You can put two sandwiches in there, $5 foot long. You can put your laptop in there. Well, That's a lot of storage, brother. A lot of storage, nice large air vents up front. That's right. Airbags, people don't talk about that because they figure, well, that's just, you know, Standard. Yeah. Gotta have Still it. Still there. Safety. I mean, you don't want it until your face, you know what I'm saying? You lose your face. 
Todd, here, you, you, sh you show them the back of this well, thing. Well, what, what I like about it too is no carpet. There's nope. no carpet at all. Easy to take care of. That's right. If you put a little Chico sinks, in here, you don't have to worry about it. Three burners, microwave up here. You also have a stove down here, oven. That's right. So you can make those biscuits in the morning. Or, or cook a Cornish hen. You can. Okay. One or two. Do what you want. What Probably you two. You to Probably two or three. And Brent, more storage. That's right. That is a pantry. Closet. It's a pantry or a closet. closet. It's very you can nice. Do what you want with it. Like I said, we're not telling you what to do with it. We're not telling you. Refrigerator and freezer. That's right. Also, more storage. Bread box. Bread box. Cereal. Put your Captain Durst bread in there. Make some egg sandwiches. They can go bang up on them. Walk around bed. That's nice. No one likes a corner bed. No one they just likes don't. A bed. So walk around bed is nice. You also have the ducted air conditioning throughout. 15,000. LED lights. Check out the bathroom. Is anybody in there? Someone called me. Yeah, someone's on the phone for you. Whoa! Listen guys. You got a lot of room in there. I'm actually kind of impressed. I'm 6'3 and weigh a lot. Or enough. We'll, we'll call it enough. And I can fit in here pretty reasonably with the door closed. Playing Candy Crush. You can spread out. Okay, you can wash your hands. And then I even think I can probably fit in the shower. Look at this uh, like combo radius door job right here. You know what I'm saying? You fit. Yeah. You fit. You got plenty of room. Decent size shower. You can't ask for a whole lot more than this in a, in a compact Class C. You know what I mean? Well, I think that that concludes our trip with the Class C. It's 2019. Come see us down here at Mid-State RV. Come see Brent, but make sure you ask for Todd. What? Welcome to the RV Show here at Mid-State RV Center. I'd like to introduce you to our service department and our service team. Now we've been in business since 1989 and the reason we've done that is because we've always had a solid company mission and that's been that we sell RVs to make friends and we service them to keep them. Now we've been doing this for years and years and we've serviced thousands of customers and we're going to be here for years to come to take care of all your RV needs. Anything that you need to have done from a travel trailer to a diesel motorhome, just give us a call here at our service department and let our service team take care of you. We've been the Camping experts here in Byron since 1989. Welcome to the RV Show. Well guys, uh, it's time for us to do our monthly tech tip and uh, it's that time of year again when what we need to talk about is RV winterization. Now, uh, this time of year when you're putting your RV into storage, uh, what you really want to be concerned about is uh, being sure that the unit's going to be ready to go in uh, without having to worry about the headaches of when you come out next year, get ready to camp again, that you've got a, a lot of uh, problems with your plumbing system and things like that. So we want to talk about winterization here for a second. Now there's a couple of different ways to winterize your camper. Um, one of the more popular ways, especially down here in the south where we don't necessarily have the harshest winters, is just basically to drain and blow out the system of the RV. And really what this uh, consists of is going to be uh, going around, uh, pulling your low point drains to drain the lines out. Uh, you want to drain all your fresh tanks, uh, drain your fresh tank, all your holding tanks basically. Uh, then once that process is complete, uh, you, you can get what's uh, known as a blowout plug. And basically this is a, a plug that uh, will screw into your city water connection and has a valve stem on it where you can uh, just just like you would put air in your tire where you can hook an air hose to it to blow water, uh, blow air through the system to clear the water out. Now uh, when you do this, of course you want to be sure that the compressor you use, you have the air regulated down to around 40 PSI so that you don't overpressurize the system and cause any damage. And once you pressurize the air into the system, uh, you want to start from the, the faucet furthest back from the, the source of air. Uh, open that faucet up, let it blow blow clear, um, close it back up, then you know, work your way closer to the source of the air to get all that, all, all the water out of the system. And be sure while you're doing that, that you, uh, you know, also you push the valve on the commode to blow air through the water valve on the commode so you get that all cleared out. Uh, once you get done with that, uh, you, you want to be sure that you, uh, you, you drain the water out of your water heater. 
Uh, there again, this is an example when you pull that plug on your water heater and um, you can expect the condition of the water that comes out to see if your water heater needs to be serviced, which is something you can come talk to us about here. Uh, and also check the anode rod out uh, if your water heater does happen to have one to see what the condition of the anode rod is and that may be something that needs to be replaced. Uh, but that's a great time to get a look at that. Uh, once you, you've got all that water out of the system, uh, you want to be sure that you get some uh, freeze band, which is a uh, non-toxic potable water uh, solution that will not freeze uh, during these cold times. Uh, you go through, pour that in your uh, P-traps just in case there's any water in there to you know, keep it from causing any damage to the, the, the drain lines for the sinks and showers and things like that. Uh, and also it's recommended once you do get all the air blown out of the system, go back in and uh, open up all the valves on the faucets and that just gives you a little extra protection just in case you know there was something left in there. If it does freeze, it allows room for expansion. Um, now, another way, uh, especially, uh, I mean, you know, if you're a little, a little in North Georgia where the, the, the winters get a little worse than they do down here in Central Georgia and South of us, uh, may, what you want to look at is actually winterizing your unit with freeze band. And I, as I mentioned, this is a, uh, a non-toxic solution uh, that uh, winterizes your fresh water lines when it's pumped through the system. Um, it's actually rated down to negative 50 degrees, so you don't have to worry about uh, you know, your lines being damaged during the winter months. Uh, basically, how this is done is you still want to go through, drain all your holding tanks. Um, you want to drain the water heater. Now, when the, the freeze band is going to be pumped through your water system. Um, so what you want to do is after you've drained the water heater, uh, because that water heater, depending on which model you have, can hold anywhere from six to 12 gallons of water, you want to bypass the water heater. Different units are set up different ways for bypassing the water heater, but bypassing the water heater uh, will uh, allow you to pump the freeze band through the system without pumping that six to 12 gallons into the water heater. Uh, once you've got your water heater bypassed, um, depending on how your unit's set up, uh, you want to pump the freeze band solution through the system. Uh, then I say every unit's a little different. Sometimes you have to pump it directly through the city water connection. Uh, some units are set up where they're pre-plumbed for winterization and it has a hose that you hook up and actually run it through your water pump. So, you know, I say there's, there's several different uh, ways to do that. Um, and once you uh, start pumping the solution into the camper, um, there again, you want to go to the faucet furthest away. You know, turn it on as you're pumping it. Uh, be sure that you know, all the water's coming out. When the freeze band comes through, it has a pinkish color dye in it so that you recognize that it's the freeze band. Uh, then you know, once that's coming through, you want to shut it off and then work your way back closest to the source. Uh, there again, once you're done with that, you want to you know, go back, pour a little bit down your P-traps. Um, if your system, if you go directly through the city water inlet and it doesn't go through the water pump, you want to pour some into your fresh tank and be sure you pump some through that water pump just to, you know, so that the housing on the water pump doesn't freeze and bust over the winter time. Also there, you know, be sure that you go in and flush the commode, pump some of that uh, freeze band through the valve on the commode to keep that valve from freezing because that's one of the most, you know, the, the most common things we see uh, every spring is, you know, you hook up, the water valve on the toilet's busted. I mean, it's just, you know, something that happens uh, every year. Now, uh, you know, if you do winterize with freeze band, uh, you want to be sure, you know, that your process when you're getting ready in the spring to start camping again, is going to be to, you know, flush the system. Basically, you're hooking water up, um, however you winterize the system, just coming back in with water and, and, and flushing that uh, solution through the system. So that, you know, that's a, a, a couple of different ways to take care of it. Um, if you've got any questions, please come see us here. Uh, we can do the winterizations here at our service department. Um, our parts accessory store sells all the uh, equipment accessories that would be needed to winterize your camper. So any way we can help you out with this and uh, keep your camper safe through the winter, uh, give us a call here at Mid-State RV Center. Hi, this is Bob from Mid-State RV. Just wanted to let you guys know out there that we are now the local Platinum Kurt dealer for the area. We can get anything in in your Kurt needs. If we don't have it in stock, I can have it here for you. Another one of the great specials we have here at Mid-State RV is the Thetford four-wheel totes. Uh, we're discontinuing this line and going to a different line to give you guys better service. 
um, but we are selling all of the Thetford totes at or below cost. Another one of our December specials we're running this month is two zero gravity chairs, one of the outdoor rugs for $200. As always here at Mid-State RV, we have the Equalizer E2 hitch, weight distribution hitch, 429 installed. Also carrying over this month is a 3,500 pound tongue jack, 149 in the store, 199 installed. That's just a few of the specials we're running this month, but for any of your camping needs, come see us at Mid-State RV, exit 149, Hi, welcome to Mid-State RV Center's business office. I'm Mark McDonald, I'm the business manager. I've been here since May of 2000, and we're here to make sure that we can uh, help you uh, get your new RV. Our goal here at Mid-State RV Center is to find you the right RV. That's the RV that fits your needs and fits your budget. Once you pick out your new RV or your used RV, you'll come back here and Mike and I will do our best to make sure we can find you the financing terms that that you want, the ones that's gonna make camping experience best for you. We offer short-term loans, terms as short as 60 months, or for those larger purchases, say in a, uh, a big motor home, a fifth wheel, we do offer terms out to 240 months. So that makes camping affordable and easy for you and your family. Regardless of your credit history, be it perfect or be it not so perfect, we've got lenders that we can work with to help you. My goal here is to make it as easy as possible. You can give us a call, 1-800-226-3654, uh, or you can go to our website, www.midstaterv.com, click on the Finance tab. You'll see a link, you can send me an email directly, or you can fill out our online credit app. Doesn't get much simpler than that, but after all, this is a recreational vehicle business, and we're here to have fun. So, look forward to hearing from you. Hey, I'm Billy Barker from Midstate RV. I just want to tell you about the Puma line that by Palomino. Today we've got uh, a nice travel trailer out here, probably one of the best built, valued travel trailers on the market today. We sell a lot of this product and we'd love to sell you one. And what I'd like to do is just walk around and kind of educate you on the benefits and features of the Puma. This is a 31 FKRK, which has a front kitchen and a rear king bedroom. Uh, comes with an electric jack, has a light so you can let it up and down. You have a cover over your two tanks there that you can easily get to so you can get to your tanks. It takes off very easily where you can switch back and forth to which tank you want to uh, use. Good looking cap on the front with a with a windshield that's like in a, in a car that's UV protected. Uh, have a solar panel right here so you can hook your solar panel up to it. It will trickle charge this RV in case you're primitive camping. Keep your batteries charged. So this is where your hot water heater is, your fuel, your fill fresh water tank, and this has extended uh, electric jacks front and back. A lot of storage on the outside part of this RV. Has a, uh, a little mini kitchen right here with a refrigerator. And then also pulls out, uh, you can hook up a water hose to it. You know, you can clean your dishes, clean, uh, maybe even use this to clean fish or something if you're, if you're a fisherman. But it comes with a hose and a spray nozzle keep everything right here orderly and intact. Moving around towards the back of it, we have uh, leveling jacks in the back, okay, that you can retract and extend. There again, quick setup, 
no manual jacks. This unit has two air conditioners, so it's a 50 amp service, and this is where it plugs in there. Excess the top of the RV, you can get up there and walk around on the roof, all wood roof, really nice. Uh, go up and down your RV, and then your satellite and cable hookups here. Makes it very easy to uh, set up this RV. Come inside, we'll show you the, the interior. This is probably one of the neatest floor plans you can buy right here. We also make this in a uh, reverse model where you could have the kitchen in the back or, and, and you know, vice versa. Um, oodles and oodles of storage and benefits in here. Uh, I like to start with the, the entertainment package. Uh, you can fit up to about a 40 inch, you know, high definition TV. Already comes with a sound bar. Fireplace. Um, that will heat this RV, you know, in mild Georgia climates or in the right area. This may be all you need to, to heat the RV, but it does have central heat. A lot of storage, okay? You can't have enough storage in an RV. They give you a nice big pantry with wired shelves. You can put a vacuum cleaner, mops, you know, dust pans, brooms, whatever. Probably the neatest thing I've, I've seen in the Puma line and they're one of the first to do this is a 12 volt refrigerator. And you may ask why a 12 volt refrigerator? This is the way the industry is probably going. Uh, the 12 volt refrigerator gives you the freedom of hooking up to your truck, packing your refrigerator and freezer before a trip and driving down the road and it runs off your battery. That's pretty neat. So as you plug into the uh, RV park or wherever you're gonna stay, you just hit the switch and, the, and the, a, a, uh, your 12 volt refrigerator is going to run. And it will run on your batteries, but you got to be careful not to run it dead. It is an on and off switch here, so you can cut it on and off. You got a nice uh, microwave oven. You got an oven vent that really works, has a fan on it that'll suck all the fumes out of cooking. Solid countertops, a lot of space. Uh, You've got this you can use, leave down, and it gives you more counter space. Has a backsplash, so when you're cooking fried chicken or something, you ain't gonna get grease up there on it. As you notice, the sink, uh, there again, you can leave this on and give you a lot more surface to use and cook. A nice big stainless steel deep uh, sink. We move over here to the main slide out in the den. Uh, you have a dinette that'll seat four people, okay? This dinette will also dub as a bed. So you could, you could sleep two small people in this and uh, give them a lot of comfort. Probably the best thing where mom and dad's gonna be is right here in the, in the love seat. This is a, by Thomas Payne. This is a furniture manufacturer, not an RV made uh, sofa. So it's full recliners. They're wall away, they'll move away from the walls and they also have storage in here for remotes and then a place for your favorite beverage. Nice big bathroom, stand-up shower, fully enclosed uh, glass doors. You got pantries, you got linen closets, you got a lot of things in here that can utilize without bringing it in and out, that's so to speak. All right, we're back in the bedroom part and you know there's not a more important place in an RV or even in your home than right here. A full-size king bed. Not a lot of king beds in travel trailers, but you've got a lot of, lot of room in here. As you see, you can walk around this bed. Um, you've got a storage over top there. Um, you got a deluxe, nice inner spring mattress, okay? Shouldn't have to go out and buy another one. And then the storage. You got plenty of room for clothes closets there to hang coats, you know, shirts, pants, USB ports to charge your cell phones after a long day out in the field. Neat thing is, you could get you could go RVing in this for a long time because it also is a doubt for a washer and dryer. I just want to thank you for watching this video. I'm Billy Barker from MidState RV, the camping experts. And come see the Puma line. I think you'll enjoy what you see. I know you'll like RVing in it because I do. This is probably the best value in a travel trailer that you can buy today. And you can save thousands at MidState RV, exit 149, Byron, Georgia. Do come see us.
Hey folks, thank you for tuning in today. But before we go, I got some things I want to talk to you about. First of all, we're considering moving the RV show to make it an hour long. But to do that, we want to know what's important to you and what you would like to see. So if you could email us at rvshow at midstaterv.com, that's rvshow at midstaterv.com. Tell us what you'd like to see, what we could do to improve it. We would certainly appreciate that. Or you can just call us and tell, tell them you want to talk about the RV show. The next thing, guys, is it's hard to believe, but this February, Mid-State RV Center will be here serving you for 30 years. We've got some great things coming. We've got the R Family RV Show coming at the end of the month that you want to come down here. We've got factory incentives, so many things to talk about. So folks, for the next year, we're going to be celebrating 30 years. Come see us, get a great deal, get great service, great parts. Remember, Mid-State RV, the camping experts. Thank you so much.